some wood to keep the fire alive. Today it was like waking up to a new world. Comparing to how it looked yesterday, this is like a paradise. Wow, I really hope it can stay like this. guys doing? Working. They eat the clock. And they sleep. A ring frost bracelet. Mm -hmm. So it's not finished yet? No. No. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> I will let you continue with it. of the day and this is how high the sun goes up now it's just a little bit over the horizon or over the trees but at least it's better than the very north parts of Sweden because they have the polar nights right now where the sun never goes up for a few weeks so at least we have a little sunlight every day and that's that's good that's needed <laughs> Say food, <laughs> but it's something to eat at least. Okay. Some uh, fika, fika. nippon soppa, oh, and uh, makor. Mm. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nanook, you took my place. <laughs> Nanook, you're not supposed to sit here. <laughs> you want <laughs> some cheese? <laughs> We got a lot of questions, people asking how you and I met, mm -hmm. like when we got together. And well, I, I was actually thinking about making a, a long video, like a storytelling video, to tell you all about them. <laughs> to tell you how I, I was thinking about making a long video to tell all the details about how we met. Mm -hmm. uh, but. So I'm not going to do that now, but I can just shortly answer that we met through the blog, mm -hmm. didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yes. So Joel was a blog reader. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and he was writing so, so beautiful comments. I felt like he was so wise, so I thought he was like 100 years old. So for a long time I thought he was an old man. Mm -hmm. And then you emailed me. And then we started to mail. A big reason to why I kept mailing with you and I kept feeling more interested in you is that you didn't ask to meet me. Mm. You never 
asked if we could meet. He never, you know, <laughs> said, hey, Jonna, can I come and visit you? Because he just lived like an hour away from me, but he never asked. And at that time, I got so many mails every week from men in all ages, in all countries, <laughs> asking if they could come here, you know, drink a coffee with me. And I was just like, I don't want, leave me alone. Uh, but he never asked, so I felt desperate. Like, when is he gonna ask if you're gonna come and meet me? <laughs> so I had to ask him. The first time I asked, I was like, I said to him that, oh, you are so welcome to visit me anytime. And I thought that he would come like, immediately. And you didn't do that. You baked a cake. Yeah, I baked a cake that night, because I was sure that he was gonna come <laughs> immediately. And he didn't come, and I was like crying all evening. And I was like, oh my god, I should never, f why do I fall in love? Because that is so time consuming. I was like, what the hell am I doing? Now I'm waiting here with a cake and he's not coming. Well, it was actually my mom that said to me, like, you have to be brave and, and tell him right away that you want to meet him. So the next day I, I was so nervous, but I wrote to you that, hey, can you come this evening? <laughs> I didn't want to, to spend more time, you know, feeling in love with someone that I have never met because mm. I've done that so many times before and it's been a bad experience <laughs> you know falling in love with someone over the internet it's like that's the only way I ever had relationships before and I didn't want to <laughs> do the same mistakes again so I wrote to you can you come this evening and what did and you answer I did yeah mm -hmm. you did the same evening were you nervous to meet me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> yeah, I was so nervous as well. We were sitting here at the kitchen table and <laughs> staring at staring at each other. <laughs> it was like a really, you know, quiet date, quiet first date, you know. Um, so how did the date went? We ate my cake and it was a bit bad because it was two days old now. Mm. So it was it like was dry. dry. <laughs> so, so I couldn't eat. I was so nervous. I, when I you know, was going to chew, it felt like I was uh, looking so ugly. So I couldn't eat the cake and you didn't eat the cake either. Mm. The first date, but I was so nervous. So I couldn't think or feel anything. But uh, the second time I saw you one, then I was like, okay, that's him. That's the man in my life. <laughs> Before we met, both me and Joanne was sure that we would like never ever meet someone, really. Mm. I felt that I was done with that. Mm. I didn't want to meet anyone anymore, like, because I, I felt that, no, I'm fine being alone the rest of my life. And you felt the same. Yeah. So at the same second as we both, you know, accepted <laughs> the fact that we would be alone for the rest of our lives. Yeah. That's when we met. <laughs> Yeah. That's so weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been interesting. Yeah. So when I started to f fall in love with you over the mail conversations, <laughs> I was at the same time, I was struggling because I didn't want to fall in love. I wanted to be alone. Sometimes I felt like, no, no, I should just let, I should just stop it now. I don't want this to go further. And I'm so glad I did it. <laughs> yeah. We really are like soulmates. I think so. It feels mm. like you are part of my soul. you can see I've been spending some hours here just doing some work I just wanted to say thank you again <laughs> because um, yeah, if you saw my previous video uh, I read some comments and questions and one of the comments I read was from Asya she was uh, 
writing a comment that really touched my heart. Uh, she was feeling depressed and yeah, if you haven't seen it, just watch my previous video. Just as usual, there is so many beautiful comments, but this time it's a bit special because there are so many beautiful comments to ask here. Wow, <laughs> this really melted my heart. I mean, some of you even started like a thread on the comment section. It's like a thread where people write comments to her to give her, you know, love and support and sharing own experiences of having a depression or everything. It's just, this is just so beautiful. I know everybody says like they have the best followers in the world, but I really do. I mean, I've always felt that like with my blog, I, I have the most amazing uh, readers and on my Patreon community, it's like my family. And now on this YouTube channel, I don't even know how you come here, everyone. I just, <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. And I guess it's something special to see you guys interact with each other and give each other love and support because it's so rare on the internet today to see that. Often when you see comment sections and people answer each other, it's just, you know, bullshit. It's just negative words. It's just hate. But it's not like that here. And... It's just the total opposite. I know I have talked about the comment section in almost every video now and I'm sorry if it gets boring but I just have to tell you how much I appreciate it. I guess I will talk about this so many more times because I'm never gonna stop appreciating this. I'm never gonna take this for granted because your support means so much to me. Look what I got here. My dear sled. I shared a photo on my Instagram the other day talking about how much I wanted the snow to come so I could go on my sled again. Well, it might still be a little bit too early because the surface maybe isn't that frozen yet. So maybe the sled just go right through the snow down to the ground. If there's a beautiful winter night with stars, I just love to go on the sled and have music in my ears and bring the lantern and just go uh, through the village and uh, further away to the forest. I can't find the words to describe that feeling and then when I've been on the sled for a while, you know, you get tired, I just sit down and look at the stars. That's like one of the best things during the winters. Now it seems like I can soon do that again. <laughs> so now I thought I would just prepare the sled. Maybe tomorrow I can go in a sled ride, that would be nice. So I usually use candle wax to make it go a little bit faster. I guess you could do other things to make it better, but candle wax is good. And this sled is actually super fast, even though it's super old. <laughs> Now it's ready, and it seems to work fine. It's so dark here, I don't know if you can see anything. <laughs> wow, it's no clouds tonight, so the sky is full of stars. <laughs> I really wish there was a camera so good that you could film it. I mean, you can take photos of the night sky, but you can't really film it. Well, at least not with my camera equipment. Alright, I'm gonna go on my first little sled ride now and see if the surface is good enough. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today and I see you in a few days. Take care everyone! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lots of love! See you soon! Bye bye!